In order to use InOcean, a Leno InOcean interface must be connected to the USB port of a LoyTech device. The Leno interface is available in three different versions for worldwide use. Enable the InOcean protocol in the settings of the configurator or in the web interface. InOcean devices are created from InOcean device templates. The configurator is distributed with a library of common device templates. Click on the InOcean port folder, right-click and select New InOcean device in the context menu. In the Create device dialog you can select the template of your device. Fill in a name for this device and press Create device to complete the process. These steps must be repeated for each device. For this video, a total of two switches, one actuator and one bidirectional device are created. For every device, a respective folder holding the data points will be created. For bidirectional devices, two folders will be created. One holding all data points for the sending part of the device and one folder for the receiving part of the device. The assignment of InOcean devices has to be done in the web interface. Open the Commission web interface. To teach in an uncommissioned device, click on the Teach In button. The web interface then waits for a Teach In message sent by an InOcean device with matching profile ID. Press the button on the InOcean device and the corresponding InOcean device ID is associated with the device. If the process is finished, the strength of the signal is shown on the web interface. Also, a manual assignment can be done by editing the device ID of the respective device. After the first transmission by this device, the signal strength is also displayed. Certain InOcean actuator devices require different InOcean sender IDs. Therefore, a unique ID must be sent out. To do so, bring the actuator into the Teach In mode. Click on the Teach In button in the web interface. A dialog opens and proposes the next unused ID on the LoyTech device. Then click the Teach In button in the window. This sends a message using the chosen transmission ID to the InOcean actuator and complete the process. In this case, the strength of the signal cannot be displayed, as the LoyTech device is sending the signal, not receiving. For bidirectional devices, two teach-in procedures are carried out. In the first step, the transmitter of InOcean devices is assigned. As a second step, the receiving part of the InOcean device is assigned. Again, a free ID is proposed for the LoyTech device.